do Senki. I just want to do a quick video on the new Buy Blocks feature on VexIQ Blocks. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to like the text version probably a little better personally, uh, but for the kids to get started, it's, uh, it's really nice. So, first thing you want to be sure you have the latest version of XIQ Code Blocks, and it's right here under My Blocks. And if you don't see that, you need to update. Um, if your computer you know, it needs to be connected to the internet, it should automatically download it, uh, detect it, and then ask you to download it, the update. So, <coughs> uh, let me give you a forward example. Let's throw this together real quick. Let's add a motor on the left port called one. And of course, our second motor on port six. And we'll reverse our right motor like we always do, unless we do something else. Okay. And if we're going to do a forward, this is all we really need. So let's say that we wanted the robot to go forward, right? Um, we would have to set the velocity of those two <coughs> motors to whatever we wanted. And then we'd have to tell them to spin a certain amount. So, here's our forward, spin left, try forward, and spin right, try forward. And of course we would do the and don't wait here, so that those two commands would both run at the same time. Okay, so this will move the robot forward for 90 degrees at 50 uh, velocity. Um, having four lines to do this forward, once you start writing your code, it's just any little thing takes up a lot of room on the screen. And uh, to conserve screen space especially, um, it's nice to have a block to do this. So we're going to do a my blocks. And I'm going to call it. So you can type here, you can add numbers booleans and labels. So let's start by calling this for, for. Um, the first thing we're going to do is the turns, and the turns will be a number. So what I have here is forward for, the variable is called turns, but they're not going to see that in the command itself. So forward for, the number of turns, turns. And let me show you real quick how this is going to let me get myself out of the way there. Okay, so you can see how it would look here. So what you put in there for the variable just becomes that number. So I would have to put the word turns after it so I know what that variable means over here. When you're defining it, you're going to pull that out, and that's how you're going to use that variable in the function. Uh, we don't just want turns. We also want velocity, or I'm actually going to call it speed here, and I'm only going to call it speed just because that takes up less space. So far for blank turns and for blank speed. <coughs> okay, so now instead of having to do this every time, I'm going to put this on the my blocks. And wherever it, the turns is, I'm going to put it down here. Now, I use the word turns, so I really should change this here so that later on I know what I'm talking about. If you want to use degrees instead, just make everything degrees. That's fine. So I'm going to pull the turns variable down into the function. My blocks is really teaching kids how to use functions, right? <coughs> okay, so now that I've defined this, let me close my window over here. So I've defined the function, so now I can just say, hey, go forward for 3.7 turns at 100 speed interesting for 90 speed. Okay? Um, and then you would make an arm move or make something else move or whatever, but it's nice to have all that in one compact thing. Um, I am going to have one more thing on here just for fun because at the end here this is blocking, right? So the forward 3.7 turns for 90 speed, it's going to wait until that 3.7 turns is completed before it lets you move on. I, If I wanted to be a little more precise here I could use a wait until uh, both motors are stopped moving because it's possible that the right motor finished before the left motor uh, for practical purposes. Um, there's not just much of a difference for me. <coughs> but it's possible that you might not supposed to be a blocking command, right? You might want to be able to give the forward command there um, and then have the program move on, and you'd like to have that option. So let me add that in there as well. That's where the Boolean is going to come in. Um, so I'm going to put a comma here. And the question. 
question is blocking, so it's going to be a true or false. If it's true or false, then it's going to be a boolean. Okay. So, um, basically, if boolean, if blocking is true, then I do want to use this. I want it to look like this. If the boolean is false, then I don't want it to block, and I want to do this. So if it's true, I want this. If it's false, I want this. So that's why we're going to use an if else. So if it's true, if it's true, I want this. Now you can see it's disconnected from the function, so this has turned gray. It's disabled. Um, I can't, well, let me try to enable it. There we go. It's letting me do it good. I don't know if that's going to mess something up. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I thought it was going to let me do that. Let's go ahead and enable those. There we go. Okay. So, oh yeah, and so I need the boolean down here. Why didn't I name that boolean? Let me go ahead and name that. So here, blocking is, just a block there. Okay, so now if, if I say true, then it is gonna block and run the first line. If it's false, it's going to the second line and not block. So if it's true, well then it will block. It'll wait until 3.7 turns finishes. And I can put false so that it will run this command and then it'll let the next command run immediately without that 3.7 finishing. So if you want to move an arm or whatever while you're going forward, you can do that. And that's all very nice and compact in that command. You could put additional things if you want. I can't really think of anything right now. Um, you can do your left and right turn. You can make it a point turn. You can add all kinds of different options there um, for that. So <coughs> it's kind of like um, it's kind of like broadcasting, but it's a little. I think it's a little more slick because you can pass whatever variables you want uh, along to it a little more efficiently, I guess. Um, so that should get you started on that. And if you want to mess around with it, go ahead. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool function. I was very excited for it to come out because you could you could like set a variable and then broadcast like you moved before, but still every single command takes two lines. It's nice to get all this stuff on the one line. Um, you can write it out so it makes sense. Um, I think it'd be easier for the kids to explain it to the judges if they're not familiar with programming. It'd just be all right there. So that would be. Um, I just think it's a nice little function. Really glad they added it at this point. I didn't think it was gonna be out till at least next year. Uh, but they got around to it, and I really appreciate that. Um, so I think that's it. And you can write tons of functions. Your kids can do whatever they want. Um, there is going to be an update for code blocks next week. The um, One of the, oh, sorry, it's not going to come up here. Setting the touch LED to a certain percentage brightness is currently broken. Uh, they're going to think of it. Got a couple things to fix from this update, and they're going to get all that out next week. So. Um, if you're going to update now, just do it with a caveat that you're going to need to do another update pretty soon. Also, I found that sometimes my my blocks disappear here. Like sometimes if I just, let me see, yep, yeah, it disappeared. I changed the window size, right? It shouldn't disappear when I change the window size. Um, what I do to get them back for now, and they're working on it, is if I make a block and say okay, and then they'll all appear. And then I'll just get rid of that extra one. How do I get deleted? Oh, there we go. Just, so here's the definition for it. I'm just going to drag it up. Now it's gone. So my forward came back. So if your my blocks disappear, uh, just make a block. Um, they had a variety of other things on the form that you can do to make it come back. But with the update, hopefully, it should all be taken care of. Happy weekend. Thanks.